one of the things that you said when we were kind of prepping for this, you said about how important, you know, it is to build relationships with your community. And really, you know, as you kind of evidence in that, you know, that answer, really knowing who you serve and kind of figuring out there, how do you, why do you see that as so important? And like, what are some of the things you do as a principal to connect with your, your staff and your students? I know I had a, a mentor tell me that we're in the business of customer service. Mm -hmm. And so if we're going to inconvenience anybody, it's, it inconvenience us. And so if you go into whatever store that you choose to shop at, you know, it's, it's better to go where you feel comfortable. I know some people say, well, I don't like Walmart. I say, well, go to Kroger or go to Target, mm -hmm. you know, go where you feel comfortable. And it's the same thing with schools. Go where you feel comfortable. It's almost like cheers. Go a place where right. everybody knows your name. Right. And, uh, and I know one of my goals is to learn all my kids' names. Uh, so one thing that I do, and it, it helps, it is not, it's not a perfect system, but we have school IDs. And I, I print every kid's ID. If they need a replacement, I print it and with a picture on it. So that way I can learn the kids' names, learn their middle names, give them a nickname. Mm. Uh, and so in the mornings, we... You know, and our, we, we like to play music. We play music in the morning at car drop off and I have a microphone. And so right. if, if, you, if your parents drop you off, I say, George, good morning. You know? <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, it, it embarrassed the kids some, but yeah. some smile and some parents love it. They'll have their phones out recording, uh, things like that. But that. if you can address somebody uh, by name and like you asked, make sure that you say somebody's name correctly. Yeah, so that that means something, especially when you have a name. You're like, my name is Dondre. I get called DeAndre or, mm -hmm. or or something like that. But if you take the time out to, you know, understand me and know my name and, and then know where I come from, know what I like, you know, it's it builds a, a relationship. And that way uh, you can have different conversations. And if I have a kid that I have I've given a nickname to. I've mm. talked to their parents or I've gone to their house. You know, I, I can talk to that kid differently than a teacher who's having right. trouble with this kid. Uh, I might be able to you know, talk a little rougher to them or pull them in and they may listen to me more. And I think it goes the same way with teachers. Um, there's been mm. times where if a, I notice a teacher's having a tough time, I'll, I'll, I'll text or call her husband. Say, hey, mm. everything OK? Or uh, if somebody has passed in their family. I know I had a teacher a few years ago, her, her mother-in-law passed. And so I reached out to her husband and say, just check it on you, make sure you're okay. I know, you know, just showing a little uh, empathy to their situation. And, you know, I think that helped yeah. my teacher, even though I was reaching out to her husband. Yeah, that, you know, I, I, first of all, you're going to probably get in trouble. You're going to probably get kicked out of Arkansas because you said that you can go somewhere else other than Walmart. Isn't that like, <laughs> you're not supposed to say that? Like Walmart, uh, Arkansas is like Walmart, isn't it? Not? Yeah, it is. It's the you're Walmart gonna be You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I edit that out. If I don't edit it out, you don't have a job. I know what happens. So hey, I, I shop at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, can, well, you guys can't say anything different now. That's for sure. So, um, that, you know, the, I, one of the things I love about this podcast, I know somebody's going to hear that and they're like, I'm totally doing that with our like school drop off because a lot of people dread the school drop off. Right. And if you, so like, it's probably not as smooth as anyone would like it to be, but at least if you can kind of make it fun, there's a real power in this. Uh, one of my favorite books I read over the last year or so was uh, unreasonable hospitality by Will Gadara. He talks about um, he basically says we're all in the customer service business and he's talking about from the perspective of, uh, a, a restaurant, but I'll tell you, that was like, that book has had one of the biggest impacts on me on educational leadership.